From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports On Demand for Thursday, October 17th. I'm Mike Ludlum. Great Northern Conference Volleyball last night in Gladstone as the Braves welcomed the Kingsford Flivers in a tune-up for Saturday's conference tournament. Pick up the action in the first set, Kingsford in the far court, and Allie Doolittle will get the cross-court kill from Katherine Erickson, 18-15 Flivers. Next, Erickson will set again, and Christy Gladowski puts that one down the line, where Gladstone can't find it. Then the libero, Brooke Kriegel, will put one in the area for Hannah Strutz, and Hannah gets that one off the block and good. Flivers won the first set 25 to 19. Chloe Grenier the dig and Josie Lippens with the winner there for Gladstone. But it just wasn't going to be the Braves night. Struts puts that one down with authority and Kingsford went on to win the match three sets to none. Great Northern Conference Tournament is in Gladstone Saturday starting at 1030 in the morning Eastern time. On the volleyball scoreboard, lots of 3-0 matches, as we've been known to expect now and then. Forest Park over Rapid River by that, those numbers. Jeffers 3, Bessemer nothing. Same for Lakeland and Hubble defeating Barriga. Lance getting past Dollar Bay. Barker for Harris was down two sets to none, but rallied to defeat Menominee 3-2 and 16-14 in the fifth. Hancock passed Ishpeming, 3 0, and Gloria Hendrickson had 11 kills for Calumet in the 3 0 win over Westwood. High school football, eight player game, and yeah, this one might have been decided by a two point conversion. Just one. Newberry defeated Brimley, 20 18. Northern Michigan University Sports Hall of Famer Ted Rose has passed away at the age of 72. Rose was a four-time letter winner for the Basketball Wildcats in the late 1960s. He was named Associated Press All-American and Team Most Valuable Player for three seasons. He was also the team captain in his senior year of 1969 and 70. Rose was inducted into the NMU Sports Hall of Fame in 1984. He holds the school's single game scoring mark. 54 points against Central Michigan University in the 68-69 campaign. He went over 40 points in a game on two other occasions. He's currently fourth all-time in scoring, 1,903 points, second in rebounds with 973, and he is number one in free throw attempts, 563. Rose was selected in the 1970 NBA draft by the Baltimore Bullets, now known as the Washington Wizards. Rose is one of just two players in the history of men's basketball at NMU to have his jersey retired in the Barry Events Center. A memorial service for Ted Rose will take place Saturday in Louisville, Kentucky. Again, Ted Rose was 72 years old. The Wildcats have landed on the East Coast as they get ready to meet Boston University tomorrow night and Saturday. NMU has a 6-3-1 record against the Terriers, the most important, of course, the 1991 National Championship when they won in triple overtime. That information probably doesn't mean a whole lot to current Wildcats head coach Grant Patoni, but he's been around long enough to know the Terriers are big, fast, and have plenty of depth. I think, you know, there's certain areas that we're going to have to be really good in. Um, I think there's some areas that... Um, maybe we can have a little bit of success, you know, but the recipe is not going to change for us. You know, we, um, we got to make sure that, you know, we get out of our end with speed. We got to make sure that we continue to get more pucks on the net. Faceoff tomorrow is set for 7:37 with a 7:07 start on Saturday. You should be able to watch the games on CBS Sports All Access. Michigan Tech is idle this weekend. Lake Superior State visits the University of Michigan. The 24th ranked Michigan Tech volleyball team will be in Indianapolis for the 12th annual Midwest Region Volleyball Crossover that will be held at the Academy Volleyball Club in Indianapolis. It's billed as the nation's largest collegiate volleyball tournament, 41 teams total from the GLIAC, the Great Lakes Valley Conference, and the Great Midwest Athletic Conference participating. The Huskies meet Drury tomorrow, Cedarville Saturday morning, and Illinois Springfield Saturday afternoon. Tech head coach Matt Jennings says last weekend's sweep over Wayne State and Ashland gives his team momentum. The weekend we had here at home was a big one for us. I think not just in terms of uh, our conference standings, but also you know regional and, and crossover reasons. A little break from conference play, uh, probably a good thing. Uh, at the same time, we have to gear up for a kind of a different thing altogether. It's a lot of volleyball being played under one roof at the same time. Very loud, uh, very much smaller 
um, you know, uh, atmosphere in terms of your court space, and it's just very unique. NMU and Lake Superior State also will be playing three matches at the crossover.